WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavendo with the afternoon update for TFNN. We've got stocks uh, slightly lower. We've got the uh, Russell up slightly, it looks like. Uh, we've got gold under a great deal of pressure. It broke under $2,000 an ounce. It hadn't been below that for about eight days. Uh, we've got silver still acting pretty strong. Uh, bonds have sold off quite a bit. And other than that, the currencies have sold off quite a bit as the U.S. dollar has regained strength and has pushed other things uh, quite a bit lower uh, on the currency front. Ma mainly, it's the uh, euro versus the dollar that is causing all the problems. Uh, crude oil's had a little bit of a rally, but uh, considering the news with everything going on, you'd think it'd be up about three or four dollars a barrel, but in fact, it, it really isn't doing that. The other market that looks very, very interesting from a trading standpoint, and I do mean trading standpoint, is the market that is related to the grain markets because we've got the soybeans uh, setting the only one. Oh, actually, the wheat is up two cents too, but we've got uh, corn down a little bit. Actually, corn's rallied a little bit. Hold on. Oh, my goodness, that's just in the last couple of hours. I just realized that. So the grains are actually holding up relatively well. Uh, the one market that uh, we would like to keep a very, very close eye on here, folks, is that U.S. dollar index, because there's a lot of things in the news saying that the U.S. dollar is finished, and we've heard that before. I remember back in 2011 when we were trading down around, oh my goodness, I think it was around 80, so 78 or something like that in the U.S. dollar. Mr. Tom O'Brien of TFNN coined the phrase King Dollar, and it rallied for 11 years. And uh, in fact, it's still rallying. So it's been a heck of a run here in that U.S. dollar. But uh, no matter what you hear in the news, folks, it's still the currency people go to when they want to be safe. Because it says right on the front of the U.S. dollar, in God we trust. And uh, certainly it's, uh, you know, a pretty interesting one to, uh, to look at here here today. So we're going to have Bill Meridian from Cycles Research. Vienna Austria is our guest today on my show, Fibonacci 24-7, Trade What You See, which will be coming up next. So be sure that you log in if you can, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun listening to what Bill has to tell us, because he's always has some really interesting things to share with us about what's going on in the market. So we'll be right back after we pay a few words. 